Uh, okay, Dilip, we started about the Indonesian government set a policy of banning coal export toward uh, January. How is the Bumi Resources respond about these conditions or about this policy? We, we do not have a view on, uh, on the ban, but we respect government policy and we respect the national priority and the reasoning and the logic behind it. Indonesia is a major producer and it is increasing domestic coal production. And it is important to maintain power supplies for the entire population at an affordable cost. We respect all that. Mm -hmm. Our view essentially is that we hope that the present coal export ban could soon be lifted, particularly for 100% DMO achievers like Bumi and many other coal producers. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dilip, with these conditions, how about the Bumi uh, export schedule with this export ban policy? How many export schedules will be postponed with these conditions? You see, we do not think that this is likely to have a long-term impact or on our performance this year. There should be little or no material impact on us at present. The weather is not very kind. The rains have been heavy. There is a La Nina effect, and that has impacted production in quarter four last year and continues to impact output so far this month and could continue as per forecast up to February. We think that once the weather improves and the exports resume normalcy, we should be able to make up any backlog of or any kind of delay. That is mm -hmm. our understanding and position at this point of time. Okay, uh, how does Bumi uh, negotiate with its customer, uh, Zovar? How many clients uh, are negotiates as a result of this uh, export ban? Well, we are keeping everybody informed. And uh, we have not, we, we are confident that we will be able to supply the material in due course. So there should not be any need for a force majeure that we foresee at this point of time. Um, we think that we will, we should be allowed to resume exports vessel by vessel. I understand mm -hmm. the process has started. So over January and uh, assuming February is normal, we should be able to make up. So like I said before, mm -hmm. there is little or no material impact at the moment. Mm -hmm. The weather is definitely a challenge. And uh, as exports resume and become normal, we should be able to make up. And if weather improves, we can also increase production and output. Okay. In terms, in terms of value, uh, how much uh, did Bumi lose revenue from the ban of the coal exports uh, throughout the January? Well, I wouldn't say that. I think it's a little premature to talk about loss of revenue at this point okay. of time. Mm -hmm. Like I've said before, there could be some deferrals due to rain and due to the imposition of a blanket ban. But we think that as output increases, the weather improves, and as the ban slowly relaxes, we should be able to make up whatever are, are the so-called futuristic-sounding mm -hmm. losses at this point of time. We think it is important for the situation to be clear and for normalcy to return. Okay, uh, with uh, the exports uh, ban policy, it will be a back on Bumi production's target in 2022. How is the target of production of Bumi resources in 2022? Well, we are going by the uh, RKAB um, uh, allowance that has been made for us, which is all which is similar to what was last year. Last year, we were impacted by rain and we have produced 78 to 80 million tons uh, last year. 
versus what we thought we could do of 85 to 90. And this year, it should not be any different. We would still be looking at a number between 85 and 90, mm. which would be about 8 to 10% higher than last year. Mm. 